10. Oh, baby. Woo. Great burn. <laughs> and I'm out of breath. Hey guys, Mark McKillier with Live Anabolic Today. I put together a real short, compact, 10 minute total body workout. Now it's focused really only on, on muscle growth. All right, this is not really a, a cardio or HIIT style program. Although, although the way I've designed it, all right, it's gonna make you out of breath, okay? So you're gonna get some kind of a pseudo HIIT type workout with the exercises that I put together for you. And that's because I designed everything to be done as a superset. So just real quickly, a superset is when you do two exercises back to back with very little or no rest. Now I'm going to be changing the weights and you're going to need to probably change the weights also because some of these exercises are using big or stronger muscles that you're going to need more weight on. And then we're going to immediately superset that with a smaller muscle group, all right? You're not gonna be able to lift nearly as much weight, so you're gonna have to put those dumbbells down and pick up some lighter dumbbells. In my case, I have adjustable dumbbells, and you'll see me changing the weights, all right? But guys, supersets are really killer if you do them right, all right? Now, these supersets today focus on completely different muscle groups. So each superset all right, hits two different muscle groups that have nothing to do with one another, all right? Now, I don't want you resting while you're in the middle of a superset, but after you're done with that superset, feel free to catch your breath, all right, for a minute or two before moving on to the next, all right? So, three different supersets today. The first one is gonna be an incline dumbbell chest press, all right? I want you guys to shoot for roughly 10 reps on every single exercise, all right? So we're gonna do 10 reps of that, and then we're just gonna stand up and you're gonna change the weights, all right? Because we're gonna to transition to a two-arm dumbbell curl, bicep curl, all right? And I say change the weights because you're gonna be able to press a lot more weight with your chest than you can curl, all right? So I'm gonna go from heavier weights to much lighter weights. I'm sure all of you guys are gonna to have to do the same thing. All right, so that's the first superset. I'm gonna do 10 on the chest press, and then I'm gonna change the weights and then do 10 curls. Now, that means I can stop and rest. I wanna be able to catch my breath, basically, for a minute or so before we move on to the next superset. And the reason I want you to catch your breath in between these supersets is because you need to flush out that lactic acid that's building up, all right, in your muscles especially when you're pushing them hard with two exercises back to back like that. Secondly, you need to catch your breath. You need the oxygen to ramp back up in your bloodstream so that you can push just as hard on the next exercise or the next superset. Now, superset number two is going to focus on our legs, all right, initially with goblet squat. So you're going to be able to pick a fairly heavy dumbbell up. We're going to do 10 reps on the goblet squat, and then we're going to transition to a seated overhead tricep extension. You're gonna to have to use a much lighter weight for that, okay? So remember back to back with very little rest. And then finally, the third superset, we're gonna do some bent over rows for our back. All right, remember we're gonna do about 10 of those. And then without rest, I'm going to change the weight as quickly as possible, lower the weight, because then we're gonna do 10 lateral raises, which target our shoulders. So three different supersets for a total of six exercises. That should take you about 10 minutes, and we're going to hit basically every single muscle group in the body. All right, right before I get to the workout so you guys can follow along, I want you to think about joining our Facebook group. Just click the link below this video. Phenomenal group. I'm the moderator, so I'm in there every day answering questions and, and helping basically run the group. It's about 21,000 guys around the world just like you and me, so please, guys, I promise you won't regret joining that group. It's fantastic. And then secondly, do me a favor. I'm trying to spread the word. I want you to help us promote this YouTube channel. And the best way for you to do that is to hit that little like button below this video and then share it with your buddies and of course, subscribe to the channel. All right, so here we go. I'm just gonna basically go through, you know, one circuit of this and show you guys 
how to do it. Now you can kind of follow along or just kind of watch my form, all right, so that you can kind of copy me and hit pause, all right, at the end of every single exercise. So the very first thing we're going to be doing is an incline dumbbell chest press, guys. Now, I'm not doing very heavy weight here, guys. I want you guys to be pushing it a lot harder than I am. I want you to be straining with the weight you select so that by the time you get to that 10th rep, you're really starting to struggle. Now, I'm obviously not <laughs> struggling, all right, doing 10 reps at this weight, but it's because I want to be able to talk while I'm doing the exercise and also explain the form, all right? Now, I'm going to do some two-arm curls, but even that lightweight is too heavy for bicep curls. So it's just as simple as twisting, boom, ready to go. What was that? Five, six seconds. And now 10 curls. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. All right. Superset number one completed. Now stop, catch your breath for about a minute or so. Okay, now the second superset is a goblet squat that's supersetted with an overhead tricep extension. Now, the nice thing about this combination is. Each exercise only requires one dumbbell, so you can pre-select the weights you're gonna use, all right? So I've already picked a heavier weight for the goblet squat and a much lighter weight for my overhead tricep extensions. I'm not gonna have to go over here and change both the, the weight on both dumbbells like I did on that first exercise. So, goblet squat, guys. Woo, hold this thing. Basically, it looks like a big goblet. Hold it nice and close to your chest like this. And we're just going to do 10 squats. Dude, see how I go all the way down to my elbows touch my thighs? Trying to keep my back straight. I don't want to bend over. And a good way to do that is to pick a spot on the wall right in front of you and just stare at that spot going up and down. That'll help with your balance. And it'll help keep your back straight. Oh. All right. Done. Now, transition to the much lighter dumbbell for my overhead tricep extension. Up to your shoulder. Grab the dumbbell like this. And then here we go. One. Two. Three. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then down to your shoulder and then grab with two hands right here to the thigh and down. That's a real effective trick <laughs> to lowering the weight without dropping it, especially if you guys picked a heavy enough weight that you were actually pushing yourself so that you were near failure on that 10th rep. Okay, so our third and final superset combination today is gonna be bent over rows, except I'm gonna do them supported. I'm gonna do them with my chest on the bench here. So I'm gonna do 10 reps of that. Then I'm gonna have to lower the weight, okay? Because the last exercise is a lateral raise. And guys, you can't use much weight when you're doing lateral raises and your back is a big strong group of muscles so you can do a lot more weight on that exercise so unfortunately and it's not a big deal i'm going to do the first exercise of 10 reps come back over here adjust my dumbbells okay and then go straight into the seated lateral raises all right here we go so guys when you're doing these supported bent over rows all right, focus on bringing your elbows back, all right? Don't worry about lifting the dumbbell so much. Bring those elbows back as far as you can get them, okay? 
and feel the squeeze in between your shoulder blades at the top of the movement. All right, and, and if it's not a heavy enough weight, make it feel heavier by squeezing and holding the dumbbells at the top of the movement. And then of course, go all the way down and get a full extension at the bottom. All right, let's lower this weight. All right, very little rest there. Seated lateral raises here. Great form. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, baby. Woo. Great burn. <laughs> and I'm out of breath. So this is kind of a pseudo hit style workout, guys. And the reason I put it together was for you all that really are just swamped, you're just trying to get in a quickie workout, all right? You don't want to feel guilty about skipping the entire day. This 10 minute full body workout will at least exercise all the muscles in your body, give you a little pump, make you feel better psychologically, get your energy levels up, all right? Then you can get going. Now for guys that have longer and want to push yourselves harder, just do three complete circuits of this, all right? <laughs> That'll really get you. Not only will it give you a great pump, but man, it will get you a really good cardio workout too. All right, so there you go, guys. I put together a slightly more advanced type of workout by using supersets throughout the course of the entire program. And another thing, guys, and I talked to a lot of people in our Facebook group about this, this is not a workout program that I shot today, all right? This is just a simple, fun, single workout, all right? So I urge you guys not to pick and choose and do just these videos that Gary and I put together. I, I, I urge you guys to follow a comprehensive, well-laid-out, multi-phase, multi-month program. And of course, Gary and I have got several fantastic programs to choose from on our website. But we like to put together these, you know, single kind of standalone type workouts just for fun as a way to add variety, all right, and mix things up. And then finally, guys, you got to stick with it and never give up on yourself.